If you're waiting for her to change her mind, you might just be wasting your time. Because if she does those five things that I'm about to share in this video, then she's not into you. But the good thing is that you get to know and save yourself the headache, of course. So, let's get into it. Number one, she hardly texts you back or she's very slow in responding to your messages. You see, when someone is into you, they look forward to hearing from you. They want to communicate with you every time. They want to hear from you and know how you're doing because she thinks about you. I can't imagine somebody being in love with you and not thinking about you. Is that even possible? Forget the fact that some people think that, okay, she might be playing games or trying to push and pull you, all of that, to see your reaction and to know what kind of person you truly are. It is true, but then, even at that, she still wants to hear you, she still wants to know how you're doing. Because in doing that, she gets to know you and discover your kind of person every day. So when someone doesn't respond to your text message or doesn't reply to you, takes hours and days and months and years to respond to a single text, it's a sign that she's not into you. She doesn't want your communication. She not like you. It's simple. Like, I can't imagine myself. I like guy. I like somebody. I feel you. Then I will not respond to your message. Like, what's that? She's not there. Number two, she's always busy. Always canceling on dates. Coming up with excuses why she can't hang out with you. And you can never be too busy for the one you love. She's always giving excuses. Okay, I have to be in this place. I have to be in that place. Oh, my dog broke his leg. My cat is not feeling fine. Nobody can be too busy for the one they love. Stop hoping for nothing. When someone is into you, when someone values you and appreciates you and loves you, they would make time for you no matter how busy they are. It doesn't matter if she's the president of Nigeria. She's going to make time for you. All right? Maybe she doesn't want to bluntly tell you that she's not into you and she doesn't want this relationship. And she feels like if she keeps telling you she's busy, she's not there always, maybe you get tired at some point and just give up. But the thing is, if you don't see it that way, you're going to continue to waste your time instead of spending your time on more profitable things. You know, my brother, no time. <laughs> Time no day, you know, you have to move on to more profitable ventures. You get now. So that's number two sign. And number three, she doesn't ask about your life. Now, this one is very important. Because women, I know we are always future oriented. We want to know what the future looks like. We want to imagine things in our head. And once you're in the picture and we're feeling you and we are with you, then we want to imagine you in the picture as well. So there's no way I can be dating someone I love and I like and I will not ask you about your life. Like, how is your job? Do you like your job? Where do you see yourself in the next three years, in the next four years, in the next five years? What is your plan for the future? These things are very important. Except she just using you to catch crews or maybe, you know, now maybe the right guy never come and she just use you fill in the blanks for the time being. Don't be a filler for anybody, right? That one don't make sense. So she should be able to ask about your life, no matter how shy she is, no matter how modest she is, no matter how whatever. A woman who is interested in you is interested in your life, in your future, in your career, in your ambition. She wants to know everything there is to know. So if she doesn't ask you this personal question, is a sure pointer to the fact that she is not into you. Number four, she hides you from family and friends. When a girl deliberately hides you from her friends and her family, especially her friends, you see, her family can wait. Like in my culture, you can't just bring a boyfriend home except he's ready to marry you, right? <laughs> we don't do that. No, no, no. If he's coming to see your parent, then he's already ready and you guys want to step up and get into that phase of life. But then, to her friends, come on. If she's into you, the first set of people that would know are her friends. Because she can't stop talking about you, she looks for every opportunity to tell her friends about this guy that is now on board. And trust me, before you even get to know her friends in the case where she decides for you to meet them, they already know a lot about you. You'll be surprised, they'll be looking at you and be giggling because she has already said everything. So if she doesn't want you to meet any of her friends, it's a sure pointer, it is a red flag. Guy, don't waste your time. <laughs> don't even waste your time. I'm serious. Because this one is a sure thing. Even if it's just one friend she has, or just two, you see those two friends, they will know that, okay, this guy, hmm, now he's on board now. And she will tell them about you. 
but if she's always dodging for you to meet them you don't hang out in any areas where you can bump into her friends her family or anybody that knows her for that matter then maybe she's embarrassed by you or she doesn't just want anybody to see you with her how long do you want to keep up with that i don't know how long you've dated but think about it when a girl is proud of you and she likes you and she loves you woo, everybody would know about you number five she doesn't want to be close to you she doesn't want to be caught alone with you now this can be tricky pay attention let me use myself as an example i grew up in a society where children are taught not to engage and involve in premarital sex okay so if she doesn't want to be close to you because she doesn't want to create that environment that will make it seem like there's room for you to do the do it's a different thing entirely but if she doesn't want to be close to you and it's not because she wants to maintain her purity as god requires of all of us then it's somehow for example you want to go out on a date and she's bringing like two three people along i mean what is it are you now a restaurant you know Pay attention to habits like that. When you want to hang out, she tell you, okay, can I come with my friends? And she comes with three, sometimes four people. When I was in school, I've seen instances where girls would just go out and, you know, they call these guys maga. They just say things like, oh, I don't catch one maga. This night, our night food day ahead. I know they are going out. They are going out like in five, four people. And it's only one person the guy is interested in. You know, in situations like that, it's just like she is using you. Is obvious now let's be clear with this a girl who doesn't want to be caught alone with you because she is chaste and want to maintain her purity before marriage that's a different thing entirely and you need to find out what it is exactly by asking her questions that is why the face of dating is where you get to know each other because you ask questions of what is your belief about purity what is your belief about holding up until you're married people need to be able to tell you their opinions about things all right, so you need to find out what is it exactly? What is the reason why she doesn't want to be seen alone with you? Is it because she's just holy sister? Of course, I believe in that. People shouldn't engage in premarital sex because at the end of the day, when you get married, you go do this thing, you go do an entire. You know, better say you build up the anticipation so that when you don't reach that place, you know, energy go, well, well you know. But when you just do all of these things it's like creating problems for yourself in the future now that's a topic for another day but in this case you need to really find out what the case is because it's a dicey situation what kind of girl is she what kind of background does she have study all of these things and then you can get your answer so when you see the signs do not ignore them it might just be that she is not interested in you and remember it's not really about you is about her it's possible that she is not the one for you because there are so many things that attract people to each other i mean maybe she's not just feeling you or you don't attract or your temperament do not even align or you know there are things that she doesn't like about you it doesn't make you a bad person it means that you are there and you are an odogu for another person and until you meet that person you sometimes will feel like maybe you're not worthy no nobody says that everyone has someone for him or her and sooner or later you're going to meet that person and it will be all worth it thank you so much for watching and which of these red flags do you think is the biggest of them all drop your thoughts in the comments i'll be glad to go through them thank you once again for those who are seeing my face for the very first time you're highly welcome to the channel my name is wendy zill and i'm glad you stopped by if you like this video i believe you like this one check it right now and i'll see you there